the village of Greendale lives everyone's favourite postman. Hello, Amy. Good morning, Pat. You're the one auditions are coming to Greendale. And he's about to hit the big time. Three, two, light. I'm Simon Cowbell, and you know how to deliver. They certainly seem to like him. Yes. We'd like to build a publicity campaign all around you. We've even got a teleprogram. I'm just an ordinary postman. <laughs> <laughs> now that everyone loves Postman Pat, I replace every delivery man with the PatBot 3000. The most important thing for a postman is speed, efficiency, ruling the world. Well, I was going to say being friendly. <laughs> In 2014, he's not acting like Pat. He's got <laughs> I am Postman Pat. I am also Postman Pat. You've got special deliveries. <laughs> Surprise packages. Delivery, old woman. You will accept. You will accept. Redirection. I am going to stamp out that postman. <laughs> First class fun, guaranteed. Oh, muffins. <laughs> I have not put on weight. <laughs> Stephen Mangan. Ready to go, Jess. Jim Broadbent. Cat G is indeed. Rupert Grin. <laughs> Your cat's amazing. And David Tennant. I well, may the best man win. In the feel-good family adventure of the year. Postman Pat, the movie. <laughs> we did it, Jess. <laughs> Don't look out. The hateful eight may not be dead yet. Yet, yeah, director Quentin Tarantino has announced that he is working on a third draft of the screenplay with a completely new ending, and he may actually direct it next winter. The film is described as a cross between Sergio Corbucci's The Great Silence and the 1959 classic Rio Bravo. As a Tarantino fan, I so hope this project is made a reality. Now, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date on all the latest releases. I'm Valerie, and when in Rome, do as the Romans. Bye-bye.